Hey, my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. Automation, we all like things that are automated for us, and Power BI does great in that regard. Except sometimes, like with auto daytime, where we need to take care uh, about some additional things and maybe turn off these automated features. But this one that I want to show you today, which is auto page refresh, is one of the greatest features in Power BI, especially when dealing with business requirements for creating reports to answer business questions in real time. Stay tuned. In a nutshell, as its name suggests, the auto page refresh feature lets you set the schedule refresh of the specific page in the report. So don't mix this feature with report schedule refresh, as automatic page refresh is a whole different story. The first crucial difference is that the automatic page feature works only for direct query storage mode and live connection to some extent. No import mode is supported, keep that in mind. The next important consideration is which type of automatic page refresh to use. Oh yes, there are two different types, so let's examine both of them in more depth. Fixed interval. This is the basic way of scheduling an automatic refresh of the page. You set the desired interval, ranging from 1 second to X number of days, and all visuals will be refreshed when that interval is reached. This means every single visual will generate a separate, direct query and fire it to an underlying data source, but more on that later. Change detection. In a sense, it works similarly to a fixed interval type to some extent. You will again set the interval, but this time different things happen in the background. The key difference compared to fixed interval is you have to specify a measure that's going to be monitored. Think of it like checking if there are new records in the underlying table. After the defined fixed interval, Power BI will generate one single query to check if the specified measure changed. If yes, it will execute remaining queries to refresh all the visuals. If not, Nothing happens with the report page. Here is the list of general rules you should keep in mind when using the automatic page refresh feature. If you expect data from the underlying table to change every 5 minutes, don't set the automatic page refresh interval lower than 5 minutes. When you set refresh intervals to low values, like 2 seconds for example, consider the workload your queries will create, especially with fixed interval type. To illustrate, if you have 20 concurrent users running this report and we had 3 visuals on the report page, that's 20 multiplied by 3 equals 60 queries every 2 seconds. Now imagine the impact if you have 10 plus visuals on the page. Automatic page refresh is supported only in direct query storage mode or mixed mode containing at least one direct query data source. You can use fixed interval with some limitations in live connection mode too. Change detection type requires premium capacity. You can set change detection type only on one measure per dataset. Finally, you can use maximum 10 data models with change detection type in Power BI tenant. Now if you're curious to find out what will happen if your automatic page refresh workloads interfere with the regular workloads. As per Microsoft's official documentation, auto page refresh queries have lower priority. Another legitimate question is what happens with the query if it takes 5 seconds to execute and I've set the refresh interval to 2 seconds. Power BI will not run the next cycle until the previous one is completed. Simply said, Power BI will wait 5 seconds for the query to complete and then execute the next run. Finally, I was curious to know if automatic page refresh queries can leverage the results from cache. The answer is no, as those queries are not being served from the cache. To conclude, automatic page refresh is a very powerful feature in scenarios when you need to monitor some critical events in real time and make decisions based on a quick insight provided by the Power BI report. However, be extremely careful when to use this feature and to what extent. I'm in the Power BI desktop and I'll show you how to configure the automatic page refresh feature. Don't forget, this feature is available in direct query storage mode only. This is an import mode report and if I go to the format page, 
there is no auto page refresh property. Now this is the same looking report page, but this time my tables are in direct query storage mode. Under the format page, down at the bottom, there is a page refresh property. Let's turn it on and configure the default auto page refresh option. Here you can define the refresh cadence and I'll set this to 5 seconds. Let's now turn on the performance analyzer and check what is going on behind the scenes. So I'm not touching anything and every 5 seconds Power BI will generate and execute 3 direct query queries on the underlying database. So no matter if there are changes or not, these queries will be executed. Now let's say that instead of 3 visuals on the report page, I have 10 and that 10 users in parallel use this report. That's 100 queries every 5 seconds. Takeaway here is be mindful while configuring this option. Let me now show you how the other option called change detection is working. This one is more sophisticated. I'll click on add change detection and in the dialog window I'll select the existing measure that needs to be checked after a certain interval. The idea is to check the value of the total customer's measure and if there are changes, well, you'll see very soon what is going to happen. Again, my interval will be 5 seconds. Turn on the performance analyzer and wait. Oh, there is only one query generated every 5 seconds. That's why I told you that this is a more sophisticated option. To explain what is happening now, Power BI will generate the query to check the value of the measure we specified. If the measure value didn't change, well, nothing happens. But if the value changes, let's see. I'll go to SQL Server Management Studio and execute the query that will insert a new row into the DIM customer table. It's a dummy record, but it's not so important for this demo. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. Oh, the number of total customers changed and the change detection query captured that change and then all the other visuals generated their queries. So we can conclude that once the measure value changes, all the other visuals on the report page will generate their queries. I'll now publish this report to Power BI service and I'll intentionally publish it to my workspace. Let's open the report. Oh, doesn't seem to work. Of course, we've already learned that the change detection feature is available only with the premium license, so please keep this in mind if you plan to use the change detection option in the automatic page refresh feature. That's all folks, if you liked this video please click this like button down below. Also if you want to stay up to date with latest Power BI and Microsoft Fabric features and functionalities, make sure to subscribe to Data Mozart YouTube channel. See you soon!